countless Australians are grappling with relentless floods. The army's been called in to bolster the River Murray flood response. Residents in South Australia Riverland are on flood watch as flows in the Murray River increase. River has risen half a metre in just one week. Much quicker more than, than a thousand properties have now been inundated, and tonight hundreds more residents are preparing to leave. This is. The first time in over 50 years we've seen this volume of water coming our way. The last line of defence at breaking point. Communities along the Murray River are experiencing their worst flooding in 30 years. The Murray and River at Red Mark reached the 1974 worse. flood level on Saturday morning with flows expected to reach up to 180 gigalitres. South of Swan weeks. Reach, rows of shacks already inundated by River flood Murray waters. communities in South Australia are hurting as we speak, with the biggest flood in 50 years now nearing its peak. Up to 5,000 properties are expected to go under water by Christmas. All right, hi everyone. Look at our water. <laughs> We've got a... a water view now. Yeah, a water view. view. People have been asking us the whole way along this journey. It's only been a short one, but how we're going with the floods, we haven't really given much update because realistically until only probably three weeks ago, the water was still down at the fence, which we cannot see anymore. Um, I was up here on Wednesday doing a little bit of a last tidy up and the water was out where the tree is. So Wednesday to Sunday, it's come another yeah. two, 200 mil in height. So yeah, it's starting to come through really quickly now. <laughs> yeah. We emptied, Mark emptied the house and we are, just cleared the yard as much as we could and yeah we'll see what the damage is like in a couple of months yeah it's pretty much inevitable that i think at this stage is going to come in the house unfortunately the first reports were about 130 then it went up to 160 yeah. gigalitres a, uh, a day which we would have been fine with which is about where we're at now um but now they've upped it to even over 200, 200. so yeah uh, at the moment it's only a couple hundred mil off the deck and then another 100 mil it's going to be in the house so yeah, it's just a matter of how much damage it's going to cause now. The, in the inside's all cleared out now. Uh, we've ri lifted the kitchen up the best we could. We've lifted up everything in the, in the shed. We'll show you. Yeah. And, um, Hope for the best. Yeah. So re-renovate. We might have new ideas by then. Yeah, we're going to be re-renovating again. So more content for you guys to watch. <laughs> um, unfortunately for us, but um, yeah, thanks for everyone's support and you know people have been questioning us and maybe you know making sure that we're going all right. So um, but. A lot of people have got a lot worse than us, you know. A lot of these shacks are already up to the second floor, so we're very lucky yeah. here. Um, but still, it's, it does hit pretty close to home when the water's, like, lapping on your doorstep. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's going to be it for now. We'll probably maybe do an update if we manage to get here over the coming weeks. We'll probably have to walk in. We won't be able to drive it any longer. Um, so, yeah, thanks for my support. Okay. But we'll, we'll continue putting up some videos because our videos are probably about six weeks behind what actually goes live. So there'll be a few um, upgrades or updates coming along as well. So um, yeah, you just have to know that those that progression is prior to today's date, which is the 17th. Anyway, so anyway, we'll see you on an, another upcoming episode of More Than House. <laughs> Cheers guys.